Hey guys, it's me Red and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about, unbox, and review the new vlogging camera that I got. And this is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. I also bought this. This is the Joby Gorilla Pod Action Tripod. And actually guys, last month ko pa nabili yung mga to. Pero ngayon ko lang nagawa ng unboxing video kasi ang dami kong vlogs na pinost process. And actually, nagamit ko na rin sila dun sa mga vlogs na yon which is yung Inflatable Island Vlog and yung Easter Vlog. So, kung hindi nyo pa sila napapanood, I will be putting their links down in the description box. So, be sure to check them out. But anyways, let's go back to the topic. So, many of you might heard about this tandem already because many YouTubers locally and internationally use this for vlogging. There are, of course, other cheaper options but I opted for this too because I heard great reviews regarding them. So without further ado, let's unbox these babies. So let's open this Joby Gorilla Pod Action Tripod first. So aside from the tripod itself, it also comes with two mounts. One is this screw type one which is for DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, and compact cameras like the G7X Mark II. And the other one is this which is for action cameras like GoPro, Xiaomi, and etc. So what I love about this Joby Gorilla Pod action tripod is its flexibility. You can use it as a selfie stick or a monopod. You can use it as a tripod and I even saw some vloggers put it on their shoulders and on their heads and on a tree. Basically, you can do whatever you want to do with it. So that's how versatile this tripod is and not to mention how good its quality is. I also like the fact that it has rubber grips around these bolts because these things prevent my camera from slipping or sliding whenever I'm vlogging while driving. So guys, are you ready to unbox the star of this video? Let's open this in 3, 2, and 1. So the first thing I see is this SanDisk Ultra SDHC card which has 8GB of memory and I don't think I'm going to use this because apparently 8GB is not enough whenever I'm vlogging. That's why I bought this separately. This is the Transcend Premium 200X SDXC card UHSI which has 64GB of memory. Of course, we have the manual. The charger, the battery, and of course, drum rolls please, the camera itself and it also has the straps because I already attached it prior to taking this video. And yes, this is the Canon G7X Mark II and I really love how it looks like. It's black, it's very sleek and stylish and it's also really classic. And I really love this camera so much. So what made me want to purchase this camera apart from the great reviews that I read is the fact that you can flip its screen and it enables me to see myself while I'm vlogging. Because before I was only using my phone to vlog and it kind of does the same thing. The only downfall is the quality is not that good especially at night. So before we move further, let's connect the two. It's very easy to attach the camera to the tripod because all you have to do is take this mount and you just basically attach it at the bottom of the camera. You can just use your fingernails to screw this up but I prefer to use a coin because it just makes it so much easier. So after you tighten the screw, you just take the tripod and you just basically slip this together. So guys, like what I mentioned earlier, I've already used this baby in my last two videos but for comparison's sake, I will be shifting from this camera that I'm using right now which is the Canon 650D to this baby right here in 3, 2, and 1. And yes guys, we are now using the G7X Mark II and I know that you can see a lot of difference because I do too from looking at the screen and I just love the quality of this camera you guys. But what I love most about this little camera right here is how sick its autofocus is. Let's try to focus this on my hand you guys. Guys, will you look at that quality, that bulky effect that it gives? I'm living for it so much. I just love the quality of this cam and how it focuses so nicely. And I also like how we can alter the exposure super easily with this camera, you guys. Let's try to dim it. You see the lights dimming? Let's do the other way around. There you go, guys. Based on my experience, this camera does not only take good videos, but also good photos. 
these photos that you see were actually taken by me using the G7X Mark II. And look at that quality, you guys. These photos look as if they were taken using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with an upgraded lens. So overall, I just love this tandem so much and I can't wait to use this in all my travels this year. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful because if it is, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also, some of you requested for a Q&A video, so if you have any questions for me, do comment them down below and I will try to answer them all. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!